Google just suspended all their business with Huawei and we don't know what to expect for the future. Some Google Pixel 3a owners are having issues and their phone randomly is shutting down. And we have some leaks of the design improvements of the Galaxy Note 10. I'm Jaime Rivera and the easiest way to know um, when you're in a UK hotel room is because you can barely cross to the other side of the room. This is Pocket Out Daily. The official news today begin with deals. If you're in the market for uh, an old iPhone, let's just say, uh, Amazon's Wood currently has the iPhone 728 gigabytes uh, for $238. And if you remember, the retail price was pretty much like uh, like 750 bucks. Uh, you can learn more in the description. Again, these are refurbished products, but uh, it seems quite good. Now let's talk about the Samsung Galaxy S11. Believe it or not, we've got uh, some trusted sources already claiming that the codename for this phone is uh, Picasso. And uh, judging by the fact that the Galaxy Note 10 is going to be Da Vinci, it seems that Samsung is getting a little artistic with the future. And uh, according to the source, that has a lot to do with design. We should expect some changes there. Obviously, we're kind of early for that. We'll keep you posted. And speaking of design changes, what should we expect for the Galaxy Note 10? According to that same source, we should expect changes in the camera design. Uh, we should expect the punch hole design for the Galaxy Note 10's display, uh, but apparently it's gonna be different to the Galaxy S10 in a way. Not exactly sure what to expect there. And then the back camera apparently will also change the design. And we're not exactly sure if that's gonna be a horizontal design since we currently already have that with the Galaxy S10. Whatever the case may be, stay tuned as uh, according to the source, there will be changes that are significant. Significant. And for those of you that are rocking the Google Pixel 3a, 3a Excel, and you're having issues with your phone just out of the blue going blank and not working, apparently you're not alone. We're not having issues with our devices here in the labs, but apparently, uh, yeah, it seems that when phones are connected to specific Wi-Fi connections that could even be the ones in your home, the phone just does not respond. And uh, some users have had to revert to pretty much hard resetting the phone. Uh, Again, that hasn't happened to us. Our experience has been very positive, but uh, we will be reporting in case we learn more more cases. And finally, the, I don't know, most interesting news today. Yes, we read your comments in the recap yesterday. Sadly, the news broke after we had recorded it and I was getting on a plane. Yes, Google is no longer conducting business with Huawei, according to a report from Reuters. Uh, we're waiting for something more official from Huawei and from Google as of the time of this recording. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is getting weird as, think about it, surely uh, Huawei has access to AOSP. It's an open source platform. So surely they do have access to Android. They won't have access to the store. They won't have access to so many things. And we're already wondering exactly what to expect. Now, this wouldn't be the first company that uh, is in a situation like this. To a certain degree, if you think about it, the way that Amazon handles their Kindle tablets, it's a forked version of Android and they have their own app store. So that could be a solution. Not exactly sure what to expect, and especially right now that we're currently in London for an event that has to do with honor. We'll keep you posted as to what happens tomorrow at the event, definitely. Uh, but let us know in the comments down below, what do you think? What should you make of this? Because obviously, obviously I'm concerned for consumers, all of the people that we've been recommending, Huawei phones, like what can you expect for the future? We don't know right now. Um, I had a P30 Pro review coming up and I don't even know if I should complete the review anymore or not. Leave us a comment down below, let us know what you think. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social media for more information as all of our content and extended coverage happens there. You can also follow me as well if you want to find some weird photos of me running and stuff. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.